comfortable. All right, welcome to Previously Recorded. I'm your host, RP, as always. And this episode of Previously Recorded is brought to you by Totally Tees. If you need a shirt and you don't have one, call Totally Totally Tees. They'll get it done. All right, and welcome back to the podcast. We're back. I'm cutting all this. Um, What are we doing? All right, uh, so uh, as always, joining me is Bob and Shane. What's up, guys? Yo. Uh, a lot's up right now. Yeah, there's been a lot. Uh, RP, just check the end so, of the episode. There's so, going to yeah, be an outtake. If things seem off, it's because RP is currently having I'm an sh- aneurysm. Yeah, there's something going on. I'm not clicking right. I don't know what's up. It's probably the ghost. Or some spe- it is spooky season, so there's probably some spirits Stop making over jokes because they're not good. I'm having a <laughs> shit room. He was trying to do one of his famous it's, shitty transitions. Yeah. Trying to do a transition. It's a ghost because we're going to talk about spooky things. So this is our <laughs> spooky episode of Previously Recorded that we promised you an entire month of a spooktacular and we came through with one episode, yeah, yeah, we did. just like we always do. We said you were going to get one every week, and then we said, and oh. we lied because we're not a legit podcast. That's <laughs> so because we have to make money in other ventures. It enters in our life because we're our our build isn't there. We have one dedicated international listener. Hey, but, shout out to Belgium. Belgium, what's up? Brussels. Uh, so, but bringing in our our special our um, honorary fourth host. Marvel, welcome back to the podcast, buddy. Hey. In person, for the first time. Uh, happy to have you back. And um, I'd actually argue that Marvel is our third host. He is. He a thousand percent is. Brings yeah. more to the table. Yeah. Is always there. It's a good thing there's mm-hmm. windows open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump out of it. Yeah. Shane is just a guest that keeps showing up. <laughs> Uninvited. I'll go home right now. It's a long drive. <laughs> Um, so, uh, a couple of months, uh, it would feels like a couple weeks ago, like we said, it was a couple months ago, we did a Disney Plus Disasters episode of Previously Recorded, where we... Back in 2003, we did well, this Disney Plus Disasters episode. Where we all watched different episodes, or different movies on Disney Plus, random, didn't tell each other. Yes, we all did. Yes. <laughs> See, Shane was involved, because he's such a great co-host. <laughs> we... <laughs> We were all involved, every one of Shane us. Shane was there. And we Senate decided... Senate busy, dude. It's election season. I get it. We get it. it senators being Senate. You had to go, like, text me uh, about vote for America or some shit like that, yeah. right? You're, is that your job? Well, I, was you having, I was having an affair at the Oval Office at the time, so... Oh, shit. Ooh, that's kind of wild. Yeah, yeah. Saucy. Details, please. But a couple months ago, we did this Disney Plus episode where we watched terrible... Disney Plus movies, and we said that this would be a great thing to bring back seasonally for different times of the year. Um, what, 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 like, you name it. There's perfect things to do. So we decided to make our spooktacular episode about Disney Plus uh, Halloween movies. And we chose the very special, cult-following, amazing series of Halloween Town. And it was terrible. <laughs> Wait, can we go back, though? Um... You said that they were all terrible movies, and I still stand by Darby O'Gill and the Little People being <laughs> a fucking classic. So I just wanted to clear that up. Fine. That's it was, fine. It was whatever a, one I watched wasn't terrible, but it was a diamond in a rough. Yeah, <laughs> Darby O'Gill and Little People. Check it out, Joe. Actually, um, of draft fame, Quizzo Joe. He, uh, we, were, I was talking to him about it, and he said that he used to have Darby O'Gill and the Little People on VHS, and they watched it all the time. Really? Yeah. We had, I was having this conversation with him a few days ago. So, yeah, that wasn't necessarily all terrible. There was a good parts of it. But we decided that this is a good idea to go back into the bag, and we felt that Halloween was a good time to do this. There's a lot of good horror movies out there, but growing up, there's, Halloween there's Town... There's a lot more bad ones. There is a lot more <laughs> bad ones. Growing up, Halloween Town was... Like the go to Halloween movie for me as a kid, and going back and rewatching, I can't understand why. I absolutely dated a girl in high school who this was like her favorite movie of all time. Yeah, people love it. Our friend Meg watched it like just on on purpose, uh, like two weeks ago because she likes it. I only watched it on accident. I walked in the room and it just happened to be playing, and I was like, ah. Guys, I gotta get something off my chest. Do some research. I didn't date that girl in high school. I just kind of like watched her from the window <laughs> you watched her while she watched halloween town 
I'm kidding. You with maybe. your meat in your Suck hand? Suck a hand while you watch it. <laughs> yeah. Get his meat in his hand. Yeah. Isn't that what everybody else does? No? Yeah, dude. That's how I watched it. I watched you watch it from your window. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah, everybody watched it from their window, dicks and hands, whatever you got to do. Uh, but before we get into this fantastic film how you watched all series, your Disney movies? That's how I watch any movie. Um, <laughs> there's been some news in the world, Marvel news. Obviously, it's the only thing we ever talk about on here. Um, DC what? fanboys, get at me. <laughs> what do you say, like Marvel news? Uh, that, I think it's all about me. Well, Marvel's yeah, I, get, some, I thought that too. Every, every like, time. What's going on, Marvel? Or it'll be like our friend Brian, because my name's Brian as well. And I'll be like, God, they weren't talking to me about that. Yeah. Um, there's too many friends i'll cut that because we don't acknowledge your first name on this podcast for for your own safety um (laughs) thought you're getting death threats from from denmark (laughs) dude they haven't fucking hit me up at all (laughs) pussies all right marvel that's because nobody listens if you move just make sure the mic moves with you Um, we can pick up um so News in the Marvel Universe is this is Spider-Man 3. There's been a lot coming out about it. We don't really know what to expect. There's a lot of cool things out there with Doctor Strange coming into it. And, and then they said fucking Electro was in it. Like, w- nobody really knows what the fuck's going on. We're all hoping that it's some type of Spider-Verse. And Sony's forcing Jamie Foxx back into it. Uh, we're really, really unsure. And I've, the person I've talked to the most about it, it has been Marvel. Uh, so what are your guys like thoughts on what's going on with Spider-Man three? Cause the rest of the Marvel stuff, there's really been no news other than WandaVision. I'm just worried that if they do a Spider-Verse, it's going to be too much going on. Cause like, that's why I hated Spider-Man three, just cause there was too much going on at one point. Mm-hmm. So I just hope they like manage it well, or if, if they are going to do a Spider-Verse, it's just like a little cameo here and there. I'm one of those people that's like, I'll worry about it when anything's official. Yeah, Which is perfect I for this know. podcast. I think that's what it is. It's just, <laughs> I think people are just seeing what they want to see. So it's like Jamie Foxx kind of like, yeah, I'm going to reprise my role. And they're like, oh, well, he was Electro in the other movie. So obviously it's a Spider-Verse. So then that's when the rumors of the other two, like Tom McGuire and Andrew Garfield, all of a sudden that rumor start floating around. So Which I don't want, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like I think it would just be too much unless it's a passing glance. And no legitimate source has posted anything about that. Uh, it wasn't Electro's a legitimate did... source, but something I saw said like that that Andrew Garfield and uh, Sea Biscuit. Why can't Toby McGuire? See, uh, <laughs> that's what I call him. I know it. you. You all knew what I meant. <laughs> that, that they were going to be like part of the final like act. Really? Yeah. But I mean, again, it's all nothing rash. credible. Yeah. But uh, uh, some of the main thought process behind like this speculation that me and marvel have done is that sony's forcing their way into their forcing this to kind of happen for their spider-verse um aside from the mcu because this would set up a way for spider-man to perfectly exist in both uh instead of just using like fucking miles morales or something and contractually isn't this the last marvel (laughs) spider-man he's gonna appear in one more marvel film as his own, as or as Tom like Holland. a side. As, I think he, not as his own. As a yeah, side. it's not gonna be Spider Man four. He's just gonna show up in like Avengers whatever five. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. Ideally, uh, ideally Tom Holland keeps in the MCU and sees and they do their own thing or they flip back and forth with the Spider Verse. I'd be totally fine with that. But they've shown that Miles Morales works. People love him. I don't understand why they're just not. Sony's not going with that. Uh, the only other problem I have is that with as good as these MCU Spider-Man films have, he hasn't had his own standalone movie where there's been no Tony Stark. There's been just Spider-Man like far from home, even far from home. He had, um, like happy and Nick Fury were in it. Like it's not just been, which is kind of how these movies do work. And I understand that. I was going to say, I feel like there's most Marvel movies now feature somebody mm-hmm. else. Somewhere yeah. But the biggest mind. complaint with people with the Marvel or the, uh, the MCU Spider-Man is they basically call him Iron Man light. Yeah. And it's yeah. hard to argue that cause it's, he really is. So he needs his and like own. some of those other movies like Captain America. They were characters that are Captain America characters mm-hmm. or shield where Cap is, is but huge. But they're not high school kids. You know what I mean? Like, in order for it to make sense that he's involved in this larger... Like, the first movie, yeah, Iron Man's in it, but, like, it's just kind of like a bridge. 
and then he's he's doing his own thing and, and he, he's worried about it and then the second movie like far from home if you want to give him a big bed like they do with mysterio you can't just have him hanging out in new york and like swinging around manhattan you have to make that make sense so they like can know because in the comics like all his bad guys but he already like, he has those bad guys and they relatable. know who he is yeah they could throw that in real like quick. What, what why is it doesn't make sense for mysterio to be going after some 16 year old kid who's been featured who's it's, been involved in stuff it was twice. also very odd for nick fury to be like hey kid yeah i know you're on vacation <laughs> yeah oh i agree with that but like you it's just just why the reveal you need the to plot it. was you, good yeah uh, I don't have a problem with the Iron Man bad guys. You need to but, get there. Yeah. Uh, and also, I some people have rumored that Doctor Strange is going to be like his next like mentor. Mentor, which I I don't actually think we've heard that the possible uh, storyline that they're going to take is that he goes to Doctor Strange for help, and that's kind of all it is. Is like okay, I'll that help makes you get your sense. life back mm-hmm. with your secret identity, and this opens up the portals with everything else, which could, it all makes sense that that could possibly happen, but. That's just kind of really been the news, and my only fear is it being too congested of a film, mainly from Sony doing their thing and not really leaving. Because I, I truly believe, I don't think Marvel would want to bring back, even though Kevin Feige did like Jamie Foxx as Electro, I don't think he would bring him back That's for rough. any reason. Uh, I don't. And they said that Electro is going to be yellow electric now, not blue, which. I don't uh, know, to distinguish who, who fucking knows but that's kind of the news right now i don't really have anything else to add about spider-man that's it marvel and dc it's just with corona snyder cut quiet. coming yeah, like uh everything snyder cut Here's eventually thing, we just promote that yeah, it's snyder cut uh, we're gonna review it. <laughs> we're, all in on cut. we're just hyping we're gonna, it up. We're gonna watch it. <laughs> live watch stream. Live podcast cut. it. Uh, so but let's get into also our like topic. before we even do that. The like the thing is, all of this information, everything about Spider Man Three, nothing is confirmed. Yeah, I mean, I feel like even Jamie Fox, like, is that confirmed by Marvel? He confirmed it. He, the, and the, exactly. the Hollywood Reporter confirmed it. Uh, that's still. Exactly. Yeah. I, it's still up in the air, but... I think but it's just I've everyone just rumoring seen... and what they want to see. Like, yeah. I, I'm... Whatever. And even with, what's his name, being Doctor Strange in it, they said he'll be in it. They didn't say he was, like, I, yeah, the I don't whole think movie. he's going he to be... Yeah. I think he's going to have a more expanded role than he did in Thor Ragnarok. Like, yeah. it's not going to be... He's not going to be, like, that. a funny suit. Yeah. He's not going to be, like, Iron Man in the first one. Mm-hmm. Like, I think he's just going to be in it to help Tony... Uh, to help Peter get to where he needs to. Yeah. Um. All right, so let's dive into our topic of the Halloween Town series on previously haunted. Eh. Uh, so, so that was awful. It was bad, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right, I just want to make sure it was announced and said out loud. Previously so, haunted. So we we all decided to this time instead of watch a random movie because there is not that big of a selection on Disney Plus, we decided to just all pick something that we could all talk about and not talk about like 10 different movies. Just <laughs> It's ex- the, it's fun, but it's exhausting. Ever. Yeah, but this one was exhausting too, though. It, this was this we was exhausting for a totally different, different reason. reason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I guess. Well, the other one we had to kind of pick and choose. So this one we decided to watch the Disney Channel original movie series Halloween Town, and the length of how many you went to. There's four films in this series. It was totally up to you. The only mandatory ones we had to watch were the first one. Was the first one. Thanks for fixing and it. And I did not. And, and You didn't watch the first one? He no. didn't want out. It's on right now. He I said watched, he watched two of the three. I watched the second one and half, half of the third. Yeah. All right, so... Best fucking third typical, in, the, in the game, dude. The best is that no one made the four. We had four on the background. I wanted to make it to four. I just yeah. decided to do anything but watch three. So, like, with every all, all these other series we've done, we've had time. I finished two this morning. This one, we had, like, two... Two weeks or a week and a half. A week. We, a we week to watch. Sunday we were yeah. doing this. To watch Halloween Town. So we had a week to do this. Well, like, to be fair, these movies have no business being more than an hour. They don't. They're Disney Channel well, they're original Disney movies. Disney Channel movies, so they have to be like one hour and 25, one hour 30, then with commercials, with commercials. two hours. To, yeah, to make it the two hour time so slot. I'm a big fan of watching movies, and it's very obvious when the commercial break happened, though. <laughs> when like, the times, there's like a little fade to black. <laughs> yeah, like I actually... That I enjoyed. I'm not like, oh lie. no, how are we going to stop this guy? And, and then like, just... <laughs> <laughs> and then, like pops back in the same scene. Like, 
oh, there's this happening. <laughs> or somewhere completely different. I like when they when they repeat the last line they said before the commercial break. They're like, no, oh no, how thing. are we going to yeah. stop this guy? And the commercial break, and it's like, so really, guys, how are we going to yeah. stop this guy? Yeah, I was a big fan of that. <laughs> so as I always do, this movie came out in 1998 on Disney Channel. Oh, here we go. And uh, I looked up the synopsis for this, and there was three different ones. I could give you a budget. You got a budget? I got a budget. What was the budget? What was six, the budget? Six dollars. So, Hold on. For the record, oh. before no, before you even start talking, because this is where it's happening now. I, t- I warned him this was going to happen. <laughs> Marvel's reading his notes off of paper, like literally, not even college ruled. So like, get your life together. Standard ruled. <laughs> Lined paper ripped out of a spiral notebook. I think he was keeping it's, it in his shoe. It's yeah, it, well, it, it's all crumpled up. It was in it my pocket like, all the. It looks like he tried to fold it up and fit it in his wallet before he got here. Make your jokes, make your jokes about Marvel, but at least he came prepared. And unlike the third host of the podcast, I have the budget. It doesn't have any notes. Paper. <laughs> what am I not prepared for? You don't have really notes. Didn't even sound... watch the first movie. <laughs> what do I need notes for, buddy? It's all up here. Yeah. All, all right. right. We'll see. <laughs> Until right. somebody. I, I hated this part. Uh, I liked it. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, you're right. I liked it too. I can't wait until he can't remember some of these names. <laughs> well, to be fair, I don't remember any of these. <laughs> to be fair, names. I know one name. It's Marnie. That's it. <laughs> See, I don't even know that. Spoiler alert. All right, Marvel, all hit them. us with the budget. So, from what I understand, this movie was promised to the original director to be a twenty to thirty million dollar project. Does anyone wow. want to guess how much he got? Fifteen. Ten. It's eight. Four million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> And now all that, if, you, if we have now, it in the background, all of that went to costume design because yeah. it's incredible. Well, Everybody I, with their big ass heads, their big fat Halloween heads. I don't hate the costume. To be, I love it. I yeah. think it's great. To be honest, it's very original Star Wars, like overly like masked, like, like that was nothing my favorite CGI. Part. The, mask, the, the costumes were nah, cool. There's CGI, isn't there? But yeah, it's terrible. And this one, the second one, there's a ton of bad Ooh. CGI. But I, we'll for four million dollars, <laughs> they kind of did a lot. Like they built, it felt like I'm sure they transformed a small town. Well, but it felt yeah. like they built a set compared to if you it look at like the Halloween. Gilmore Girls, I'm not gonna lie. If you it. look at the town center from the first one to the second one, it's a huge yeah. difference. It's Even a the huge third difference. One, it looks completely do you have budget different. Budget for number two too. I do not. I can look that up. Real um. Fast. So. They did transform a town. It's like a little town in Oregon, and supposedly every year they still like bring out the giant pumpkin. That's cool. And they do like a giant celebration. All right. For the that, I forgot the town name, but that's that's cool to me. That's cool. Whether yeah. this movie aside, but anyway, for those that are that have never seen the movie, Halloween Town is uh, about Marnie Dillon and Sophie Piper have their first out of many their first out of many adventures on Halloween while Marnie is arguing with her mother Gwen. The kid's grandmother, Aggie, comes to visit. Aggie wants to start Marnie's witch training before her 13th birthday, or Marnie will lose her powers forever. But there is another reason for Aggie's visit. Something dark and evil is growing in Halloween Town, and Aggie wants to help to defeat it. While Aggie and Gwen are arguing, uh, Aggie uses magic when Marnie observes... This plot synopsis is (laughs) awful. Uh, basically what happens is the grandma comes once a year on Halloween. They act surprised when she comes, but she's coming because the daughter, Marnie, is a witch, doesn't know it, and she can lose her powers if she doesn't act on them uh, on her 13th Halloween. The mom doesn't want it to happen. The grandma wants it to happen, but there's also something going on in Halloween Town, which is a separate, uh, other dimension, it kind of seems like, town called Halloween Town, where everybody is of, like, a monster or a witch or warlock, and something's happening where people are starting to disappear. The town's starting to, to basically turn to evil, turn to nothing. And they eventually want to take over, uh, the mortal world and welcome back, uh, all the witch, witches and wizards and warlocks. And that's the bad guy who's don't, ruin, don't spoil it. I'm not, no I'm not, I'm not gonna no spot. Spoilers. I'm not gonna spoil it. So that's basically the plot of Halloween town. And they have to stop the evil from happening. Um, and w- Disney Channel original movie Chaos and Seuss, meaning plot nothing holes. really. Plot holes abound. Plot holes among plot holes among stuff that actually doesn't happen, doesn't need to happen, easily avoidable. I will say this though, having watched this one and then watched the second one, which we're going to talk about the second one, obviously. <clears throat> the second one literally see it felt it felt like they were writing it as they went. <laughs> like yeah. there were parts of the second movie where they're just like. Oh yeah, let's throw this in there, and they're like, oh, how are we gonna get out of it? Yeah. Oh, let's fucking make up a spell. It's it, wizard. We, it we should have, just we... be called like Halloween Town Two, convenience like, <laughs> yeah. abound because it's... it's like, how are we gonna get out here? But we'll get there. Yeah, that movie we'll is there. a whole nother. We'll figure fucking... it out. 
So we open up the film, and it's these three kids. Um, and it rocks. And it totally <laughs> rocks. There's terrible kid acting. Uh, and the mom, my for, first hey, note is that the mom is April O'Neil from yeah. Teenage Mutant also, Ninja Turtles. Also, there's terrible adult acting, so let's yes. just not rip the kids. Yes, but... This is terrible acting across the board almost. So, okay, let's start off with the film with... Imagine being a kid and not being allowed out on Halloween. How awful is that? Like, you're the only also, one. Your mom doesn't give you a valid reason for not being allowed out on so Halloween. So, like, the legitimate opening of the scene is the stereotypical Halloween night opening of like oh. any movie ever kids are running through Holy the street shit. there's it's fucking the 45 kids like forty-five thousand kids running around anytime there's a halloween in a movie there's it's the it's the it's, best halloween yeah. ever you sit on my block on halloween there's like six kids dis- dispersed throughout three hours two so, okay. million of the budget was spent on that opening scene yeah, all these <laughs> extras they're it was... running around they're having the, the time of their fucking lives it was wild it was. <laughs> and poor Marnie looking out the window. Yeah, no one. I'd be pissed if I was her too. <laughs> yeah. It, there was it, just it, one kid in like a cheap hobo costume. Like, hey, you got a Reese's? She'd be like, ah, you know what? This isn't that. Well, they don't even go to their house. Nah. All the kids are like, look at that house. And I'm like, fuck that house. They know so Might as well give out raisins. Like the mom doesn't put candy out. Doesn't nope. give him a single reason for not liking. There's so many problems with this movie that... It's just, it's bad. And I love and this movie as a kid. That's just the beginning. It just Wait, starts. so my favorite part about the whole beginning scene. So, like, if you haven't seen Halloween Town, do it. But. <laughs> do it for the, the purposes of this podcast. Yeah, watch it. Come back. Uh, I don't know what time we're actually at now, but and then cut to this time. Okay. Pause. Come back. Right? Because this is going to get cut, so I can't even ask our pay anyway. <laughs> but. They don't give any reasons, right? It's just say like, you guys can't have Halloween, whatever. And then Dylan, the brother, is just like a, a huge Uber nerd, and he's, he's the- fine with it. So he's reading some book called The Flagship, which, like, I don't know why it stuck out. So then I look up The Flagship. It's not a real book, I don't think. <laughs> but it looks, like, as far as I could research. But it looks like a, like a Tom Clancy-type novel, and the kid's supposed to be, like, 12, and he's reading this, like... Sabot like this war sabotage like military. Well, his type. head is so far up his mom's ass, <laughs> where he's like, no, no. It's like, why do you gotta like Halloween? You can't yeah. like Arbor Day. He like he literally about, says yeah. Arbor Day. He talks about like razor blades and apples. Yeah, and, like, like toxic like, all the cliches. Mass. Quick question though: Is the brother older or younger? He's younger. He's like ten. Barney's the oldest. Oh, ah, okay. And, and then some Dylan reason, I he's older, which and was a plot hole for something I thought. But There's also the typical Disney, <laughs> typical Disney stereotype. There's always a dead parent, always a dead parent, and the their dead their dad is dead. They don't explain how or why. Uh, a cool way to make it a good way to make this plot convincing why the mom hates Halloween Town or hates Halloween is because something involving magic killed her dad. That would be like a great or anything a plot any reason yeah. There's really no reason. She leaves the mortal world for her husband. I mean, leaves the Halloween town for her husband in the real world when she stumbles upon a, po- a party on Halloween. Mm-hmm. and Because you can only come to Halloween town, from Halloween town to the mortal world one time a year on Halloween. So, like, I watched this movie when I was a kid. And I, like, I remember enjoying it. Yeah, Our same Our said the same thing. Just you explaining that right there is, like, why the fuck did this get made already? Like, yeah, you can only come one night of the year on midnight. Midnight, people from Halloween Town come to Mortal World. She falls in love. She's these how kids. I sound? She, ah, uh, yeah, you kind of. Why do I like sound that. like like <laughs> Guida? Yes, who's <laughs> who's who's a what's a Halloween? <laughs> Gabagool. But, yeah, uh, but it's it's like not a good movie. It's, it's a frankly. fine fine enough plot, but it's just like where they go with it because my notes, right. <laughs> Literally, I just did the bullet points through. So it's the flagship, and then the next two things I wrote were, Marnie sucks. And then I think almost immediately after that, I wrote, so does the mom. Like, I don't fucking care about anybody in this movie. Marnie is a bitch. See, I disagree Mom's with a bitch, that. too. I disagree with But Marnie with is that. 13, and she is a bitch. All right, well, then my two things down, I talk the about the- mom's a I, bitch in her own way, because like we kind of said, she doesn't explain Yeah, like, but like, anything. mom's a bitch to her mom, too. Well, her like, mom's the apple, doesn't, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. She hates everything. Fucking Halloween hates her mom. <laughs> Marnie hates her mom. Her mom hates her own right. mother. It's just like it's a the it's a vicious continue, cycle. Man. That's what I don't I don't think she's a bitch because Are if we my mom delve into the, <laughs> the, the psychological aspects. Of this? I 
I don't think she's a bitch because if I was not allowed out on Halloween for no reason whatsoever, I would be pretty pissed at my mom. But like, she's like, I'm going to like down the line when they eventually go, yeah, she's like, I'm going to join a biker everybody. gang. Like, yeah. it's not like, it's I'm, not the fact that she's upset about the Halloween. It's just the way that she says and things. She's and she's a like, bitch to everyone the, she meets. The sass Every character that she, she meets. has. Yeah. True. Yeah. true. My favorite, she's like, I'm 13. I'm practically an adult. Yeah. She's like, bitch, I'm 33. I still don't know what the <laughs> fuck I'm doing. Like, <laughs> also, you're 13. You're practically an adult. Your grandma gives you a picture book, and you're fucking <laughs> balls deep in that shit. You're like, oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this picture book. That witch looks like me. I'm like, there's fucking four <laughs> words on that page, girl. Like, so, 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 so the... Uh, so the the grandmom does show up. They and act all and surprised. surprised. Yes, that's <clears throat> one huge thing I want to bring up. So the grandma can only come once a year. It's Halloween. She can only come on Halloween. That's the time they see her. Grandma comes. I'm like, oh my god, grandma, what are you doing? It's like a fucking Halloween. What grandma is yeah, Debbie. Haven't you thirteen years? Haven't you pieced this together? You see her once a year on Halloween. Oh, wait, You're so it's, grandma. it's been a while since I've seen Halloween Town. <laughs> so. Do they not know that the grandmom is a witch at this point? They don't. Nah, they, they just don't think she dresses. So where do they think she is for the other... She's a vagabond. She lives in... Yeah, I don't know. She lives somewhere. They just don't She's like a gypsy. Her. She just travels I a lot. I think they, they just think she just comes and visits yeah. every once in a while. One, so yeah, yeah, these she kids don't seem the brightest. See, if that's me, I'm that's like, like oh, what, what's up, grandma? Will you fucking hate the family or something? Yeah, where you been? Clearly, if you're granddaughter is what is this like your, your court yeah but she shows daughter. here's the thing she's like cool grandmom shows up gives them costumes and shit like that and mom <laughs> won't even let them step outside on halloween because they might fucking i don't know i don't even know what no she's reason. nervous she about no, yeah. reason. no reason whatsoever so Say they were allergic to peanuts like that's fine that's good enough so th- that's like the plot itself you don't pick up i didn't pick up on this until my time watching now Grandma comes. Grandma comes on a flying fucking bus that nobody, nobody sees. sees. <laughs> Typical. Um, yeah, what happened? Halloween is fucking bumping. <laughs> and then by the time this bus shows well, they up, show, they show not a soul on that They street. show the street, people leaving the street, Ooh, yeah. and then nobody, nobody drives by, comes by, nothing. And then she just floats down. She floats she's on the bus. She floats down. She, whatever. Mary Poppin ripoffs. She shows. Bus. So she shows up. Like Bob said, she gives this book, gives these kids these treats, uh, and she stays for maybe two hours, an hour. They eat dinner, and then the mom's like, "All right, bitch, you gotta go." Well, the kids go to bed technically first. Well, they yeah, don't go to bed. But they're, they're yeah, spies. they're supposed to be. So there. they go to bed. They read this book, and they're like, "Look, that's, it's that's... Marnie," and it's just. Any basic it's, white yeah, girl. It's a girl it's with a white brown girl. hair. But I in will a say, picture book that a 13-year-old is fucking yeah. And for anybody, by anybody who hasn't seen this or doesn't know, the grandma's played by Debbie Reynolds, the great Carrie Fisher's mother, uh, also in Singing in the Rain, in the gem. She's a, total, she's a total gem. I love her. Don't know what she's doing in this film. I personally feel like she, she does her best and that she's trying to make the most of it. Playing, a, She reminds me of my grandma. Uh, like she wrote. That's it. She just seems how, like how all right, whatever. Like fuck, you don't know anything about this. You fucking should. This is what happens. Like the kids are not surprised at all. They're not freaked out at all about anything. And Grandma's just like, yeah, it's fucking chill. Like deal. Wait, so we have it on in the background right now. Can you do me a favor and just go back like two minutes on this because there's a just now nah, too far, way too One far. The other. I want the goblin. I want the man. I, it's in my notes. The yeah. mailman and the cop, like goblin looking dudes. Well, before like, that, the costumes are great. Right when it cuts to Halloween Town. So, so they. What happened? Where are we at? They, so uh, they over here. They Marnie sees the grandma do magic. Turn the, she, she turns the chicken, chicken into the chicken. Into a real yeah. chicken. <laughs> terrifying and i actually made me laugh when the grandma's like enjoy your leftovers and snaps it back to a chicken and you hear it in the fridge like like to me laughed. that was funny I, I giggled that's unfortunate it's a kid's movie like made for disney channel so we were expecting the on the here right here look at these two these dudes rock and this is at the 37 minute mark yeah. all right so the since costumes. we're at since we're at the 37 minute mark i do want to acknowledge it takes this movie approximately uh, how long is the movie total? An hour and a half. An hour and a half. I would 20. say fifty-six minutes before yeah, there's before. any kind of conflict. Well, that's the that's the thing. The movie sets up for a full hour, and it's the quickest rush. Yeah. To uh, a I have it. I have it here. Fifty-six minutes in before you even have an issue that they have to deal they with. They set up a very long plot that doesn't go anywhere. 
So they're in Halloween Town. So the biggest thing I want to bring up is... The kid is too dorky, by the way. They find out... They overhear the grandma and the girl, Marnie's just like, oh, shit, we're witches. Believes it. Not a problem. And then they all follow her onto the bus. They sneak the onto the dudes, bus. Marnie and the boy. They don't... You see Dylan, them they get don't, on... Yeah, well, you don't know about Sophie. You see so, them get on the bus. The door closes immediately behind them. And they fly away. So I will say they that... They sneak on... I they have, sneak on the emergency exit, which, which if you've been on a school it bus, beeps. it fucking screams at you. So that bus driver has <laughs> no idea Halloween what he's doing. Bus. So two things. So after they get on there, they see a Frankenstein's monster talking to somebody. He has a. He sounds a like Regis right. Philbin. I was like, I cannot. Under, I could not understand him at all. It might not have been that dude. One of the dudes on the bus sounds like Regis Philbin. And I then, doubt it is, but like that's the And then the other part is the Sophie part, where I have a theory behind that that I don't think that they capitalize on at all. They, they, they lay the groundwork. So they lay the groundwork for Sophie to be the strongest witch. They kind of, yeah. And the Cromwell. It, a times. Oh, Halloween Town, like the, the first movie, Sophie saves the entire movie, the entire situation like three, four yeah, times. Yeah, she so does a few she, I think that things. she the shows... levitating. I think she shows up in... I don't think she got on any bus. I think she just magicked her way to Halloween Town. She turns, she gets the lock off the thing. Yeah, it turns into a frog. But like she's, and like the, she the, literally comes to the rescue three or four different times. Yeah, so I guess we can, at this point, let's just fucking dive to the plot of the movie <laughs> where basically there's uh, the mayor, and his name is Calabar, had a thing for Marnie's He's mother. To fuck April O'Neil. April mm-hmm. O'Neil, and her name is Gwen. Uh, and... He's like the, he, he's like the Raphael of Halloween yeah, so Town. He's just trying to. The mom ends up showing up at Halloween Town. Doesn't have a there's, chance. Casey Jones is gonna get her, but like, <laughs> he's trying his hardest. There's two annoyed. There's two Siamese like twin, two headed man working the bus stop. The bus, they're like, oh, the bus is not coming for another three hours. Let's go. Gwen, the mom shows up. Is like, all right, we're gonna go to the mayor. Mayor ends up being Calabar. They get distracted. They're like, mom used to fuck Calabar. And um, that's what they say. Yeah, there's eventually. You can't comment, Shane. You haven't watched it. Yeah, you haven't seen it. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe they say that. Like so, I, I, I'm not trying to rush through it, but like, there's really nothing happens. There's nothing it's, really it's just, happens. They it's show just, a lot of fun things in the town. Yeah, it's super yeah. goofy looking costumes, which are like actually enjoyable. Like Benny, the the taxi driver, cool. the skeleton. I like cool Benny. Costume. He's a robot. That was a little full on robot. Yeah. It was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think most of the, I, that's I'll get the my, costume design. The town is fun. I think that's why I liked it like, as a kid. Why does Halloween Town mean? Like, if you're in Halloween Town, you're required to make bad puns all the time. Mm-hmm. Like Benny does it all the time. Well, then uh, the Elvis. Yeah, the, the, the Elvis, here, the guy Elvis selling yeah. the, the brooms. The Look, we're almost at the end of the sweet. movie. Like, this is like, it's nothing. So, cool. also one of the other things I want to talk about is: Did you guys realize when Halloween Town was established? It says it on the statue. No. Established dot 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 long ago. How fucking lazy! Just just the well, first. That's a funny. The, well, that's nah, like a, but due to like the first Halloween you ever, also like fourteen hundred. Because they say like that a, a day in Halloween Town or a year in Halloween There's, Town is like a day in the real world. Whatever that rule is, who knows? Yeah. It makes so like no I sense. don't. Halloween Town's like on its own little fucking, its own little dimension, which is why Halloween Town Two is so fucked. Because they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, just hop on the timeline. Like, that doesn't every, fucking make any sense every at Every rule they established in the first one gets thrown out the window in the second yeah. one. Yep. The second one's literally like, hey, what if we have them time travel? Okay, how are we going to get them out of that? Oh, uh, we'll Mitch, fucking make a closet. Yeah. Match to sex, please. Um, All right, uh, but we're still on the first one, so let's take our time getting in the second <laughs> one. All right, so you got cool Luke, right? That's He's he's your, he's your original. Here he is right on the yeah. screen right now, right? Cool Luke. He he's your original like antagonist before you know anything about Calabar, and right? You know the bad thing or yeah. whatever they call it. And she treats him like shit. Yeah, like she tells- she hits him with a she says. But she's stinky. told she's told he's bad news by Benny. She yeah, calls but- him stinky though. Like that's her that's her insult. Some people are stinky, man. Have to be. But he's got a chain wallet, so he has to <laughs> fuck. So uh, there's another part where at least they didn't take candy from a stranger. Somebody offers some candy, they're like no. And then Benny takes them. What's that noise? Uh, takes them to the Cromwell house, where Sophie unlocks the door because Marty can't do shit. And I just have a feeling that this has to play into the imagination. And that's what I'm saying. They lay the groundwork for Sophie to be the more powerful witch, and then they don't capitalize yeah. on it at all. And like two, they're like, "Oh, fucking 
So fuck Sophie. Like she don't. Yeah, she, she, don't don't she turns anymore. the lock into a frog. Like that's yeah. the thing. Marnie walks up like she's big shit. She's like, I'm gonna fucking mumble some words and open this gate. It doesn't do anything. They turn around and the lock's gone. And there's a and she's like, I just I wished it to be a frog and it was a frog. And that's how they explain the magic. If you wish it. If it's on the screen right want, now. You need to want something, and then you'll have <laughs> the, it. The explanation for magic in this movie is insane. Like, doesn't she, like, get it, like, if magic works, and if you want it, you take it. She says, like, I don't know why. No, she's like, if you want magic, you just, whatever, you, yeah. you just wish something, you wish. and then it happens. It, but the way she says it, because they're riding a broom, so I guess it's supposed to be blowing. It made me laugh out loud. She's like, if you just want magic, you just you just do it. It's like, that's the worst explanation for magic. It's so long like, story short, magic. right? the three kids are in Halloween Town. Mom shows up. Now they're just kind of like hanging out. They follow... Oh, uh, there's mom now. They follow Cool Luke into a movie theater. Uh-oh. Calabar pops... Not Calabar, the bad the guy bad at that guy, point, the right? Bad, yeah, you don't uh, know. Where just a goofy face pops up. It freezes. The Voldemort, Scarecrow-looking motherfucker. Freezes like statues, Grandma and Gwen, the mother. And, and he's just like, give me the talisman, which is this little thing that they No think explanation. Again, another thing They can no help. It's just this thing that the grandma says, this will help. They don't explain what she's supposed to do with it, what anything like that. No, they need to get it lit. Yeah, they need to get the and, uh, real it's good. supposed to help yeah, destroy the bad guy. They do explain but there's that. No... But she makes the witch's brew like instant and, and to yeah. make it The scratch. bad guy's like, yeah, it's like, oh, that's what happens when you don't make your own homemade yeah, witch's so brew. Um, so in that scene in the theater, there was a funny part. Was like, it not funny, light? it's just an awful plot hole. What? He's just like, give me well, the... Well, are you talking about the light though, right? <laughs> when they run out? Yeah. And, and he's like, like, ah. But he says, they're like, oh, it's like we're fine. He won't follow us into the light. And but then they battle in the light. In the movie, later yeah. in the movie, he's literally even. Yeah. I feel like he's creeping on before, and he's just in the light. Yeah, like it makes There's no sense. no sense. They also just like not. This has nothing to do with plot holes or anything like that. But after just now that they're trying to like when it's just the kids, the parents are like for the grandma and the mother are frozen. They say we're Cromwells together. We can do anything, or we can conquer anything, which is super funny to me because Oliver Cromwell was like the first leader. I forget what his name was. He basically took over England. <laughs> uh, like they, they they stopped having a monarchy for a little bit and he was in charge and they cut his head off and they went back to a monarchy do anything so like the cromwell <laughs> name like that's that's the, what that's associated with and they'd be like oh yeah we can conquer anything it's like the one guy who tried this before died so like you're not not a good name to have cromwell so, i felt like was a fucking they could have done anything better than cromwell so we're spending some time setting this up but there's really nothing because i bet we can spend 45 minutes talking about the last 15 minutes of the movie um, no, we there's get... a lot I got. It's a, they have to make the witches brew the, every, but before every that, moment in the gym scene is fucking awesome yep uh, before uh, that too yeah. before that too uh, when Marnie Marnie's like I'm I'm staying here with grandma she's like no you're not she's like she's like yes I am you can't do anything about it and she goes you're grounded and she's like oh okay <laughs> like that's all it took was her mom to say you're grounded she's fucking 13, 13. yeah <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna join a motorcycle gang and i said motorcycle gangs are tough um and then so then we get caught up to everybody's to make a basically that's where we're at yeah but like it's not frankly it's we're just summarizing a bad movie it's not worth I, the I fucking don't even conversation remember them having to make the witches brew that's I, that's, I, where, they, they, yeah, they that's where they go around they, they have to get like the, the wolf, hair of the werewolf the hair so of they the, go to the oh, barber that's shop right, the and barber they have to get like the sweat of a ghost so they go that's to the right. gym the and they sauna. go to the sweat wow, box I, yeah. I, the hair of the of the austin powers werewolf i blacked go, out the, the sweat box ghost who was like one who was like who isn't questioning why kids are around the other one i had to get of what of that movie Shane's just, for those who forgot Shane was here he is here <laughs> I'm, I'm reading the plot of the second movie yeah, just so I can remember he's a live I watched the second movie like so they two make, weeks ago right they make the fucking they make the the witch's brew they go through it's like they have to all this happens the last 25 minutes of the movie yeah it's, right. a, it's a complete yeah. rush it's like a complete the, the, rush the movie theater <laughs> scene is when they were like we have to conquer anything so, is the 56 So the bad guy one. comes through the screen, but it's a portal, and they don't tell you where that portal goes to or the portal, portal really comes from. I don't think it really goes to anywhere. Here's, yeah. the, here's the flowers. If he wants it. So he the gym scene it, is sweet. It. Oh, it was the tooth of a vampire, because no, they go the to the dentist. dentist. That's right. Marnie, not credible whatsoever, is just in a yeah. mask 
pre-COVID, anybody would have been able to walk into this dentist office and say <laughs> they worked there. Because that's all she wears is a mask. And the dentist just, like, hands her a yeah. tooth. Very creepy tooth. But fairy. there's a jack-o'-lantern, like a pumpkin-headed jack-o'-lantern mm-hmm. that has, like, the old-timey, like, bandage around its head. Mm-hmm. Cause it must have had teeth. Yeah, the like that shit made that that stuff. I I was like, this the is character that's design. Cool. I'll give it that. That's it. Yeah. Like if I if I saw this as a kid, which I didn't, I'd be like, oh, these are cool monsters. Like even that in this scene where they meet the mayor, the mom, and there's that fucking nightmarish pincushion lady. <laughs> like I never seen a monster that either resembled that, but I was like, what is this thing? But it was like fun. I was like, oh, that's I a fun little monster. That's I think that's why I enjoyed it as a kid. Um, so they go and get. They need the hair of a werewolf. The tooth of a vampire, which is very conveniently getting her, her, to- her tooth removed at the dentist, where they sneak in and steal it. And they need a uh, sweat of a ghost, yeah. which they go to this sweat box thing, and the ghost isn't even curious as to why they're there. He's just, like, not even looking at them. And he tells them to go back to their mommy. Like, it's uh, a gym. He probably thinks his kid's running yeah. around in a gym. I guess. Ghost dick. Yeah. The Tooth Fairy was the dentist, too. It was very creepy. Yeah, he was the Tooth Fairy. It's not, it's not good. It's not, there's there's, a, not like, there's a lot to unpack here. There's not anything All right, so let's get to the big reveal. The big reveal. No, before you oh. even get to the big reveal, <laughs> the greatest line in the entire movie that needs to be a meme right. is when they light the talisman. Dylan goes, you did it, you guys. It's lit. And I don't know how that hasn't become like a meme on everything because it's, it's so funny to me. Make you did it, it you guys. It's lit. You gotta start it. I just don't know. And so to light the talisman, they needed a spell with a powerful ghost and a powerful witch. And Sophie, and, and Again, Sophie, Sophie, rem- yeah. Sophie remembers the spell because she makes a song yeah, out of it. That's what I'm saying. She, and then Marty can't light it without her. And I'm telling you that she basically likes it. The she whole is, movie. She's the witch. Without Sophie, this movie's shit. The, the, the grandma says this fucking spell in passing one time. And this little girl remembers this gibberish spell, word for word. Yeah, she definitely was. I thought it was a pretty song. Like, no. Yeah. Get out of here. She's the part of this. So they get the talisman lit together. Then they're like, okay, they go back to the the fucking uh, theater. And they're like, all right, what do we do with this? And they make the hugest fucking leap. Dude, to, dude, to, to figure out... The leap in this movie is nothing compared to every leap in the second movie, though. Yeah. But... Because yeah. she says, like, oh, Grandmom says that uh, the humans imitate us. So she's like, we should put this light inside the jack o yeah. pumpkin. Like, yes, it's a leap, but, like... They, they laid, they yeah. laid <laughs> some kind of groundwork for that connection. Whereas in the second movie... Second movie's bad. At one yeah. point, she's literally like, "Well, we're trapped in this building. We can't go outside, but we could time travel." And it's like, "Wait, what yeah. the <laughs> fuck? Like, how did you come up with that conclusion?" I like that the uh, with the theater. What? How many people are like frozen? In there? There's like six seven. or seven. I was like, yeah, like, like the bad guys playing the long game. He's mm-hmm. like, yeah, he's I'm gonna freeze. One he's like, I'm gonna people. need them yeah. for later. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm gonna freeze get one, person one or two people every in three town. weeks. Yeah, like just. Hey, so I will have this town taken over within the next six years. <laughs> <laughs> so then Calabar, the bad guy, who, spoiler alert at this point, yeah, ends up being the mayor, Calabar, is in the town, in the broad daylight. So what, how they used it to get away, I guess he was just caught off guard because he was in he complete darkness in the theater. Yet, I think. So that's, he's, that's my argument. So we thought that the sunlight <laughs> yeah. would bother him, but I guess it's not a plot. He's on top of the of the. He comes over and on top hall, of the city right? hall of and Halloween his costume town. was cool. Again, yeah, very cool character, like a scarecrow type. It yeah, looked super. Looked it, good. It was scarecrow Voldemort. Some of the yeah. budget went to that costume for sure. Some of the four million dollar yeah. budget went there. So he Pro- he probably. does his his it's proclamation that he is going to. They're going to take back the mortal world. They're going to take back yeah. the mortal world. And Marvel pointed this out to me that they're all like, yeah, the like, let's town. fucking do Dude, it. The, the town, excuse me. 
the town is so fucking easily influenced. Yeah. Like Calvar says, we're gonna take back the mortal world, and everyone's like, yeah, let's yeah. fucking do it. The and then they, and then, town square. and then uh, Barney like comes and is like, yeah, I'm not, we're not, we're gonna be good people. And they're like, yeah, we're good people. Yeah. And then he's like, nah, fuck that. And they're like, yeah, let's fucking kill people. Like they literally just they, yeah, go back and forth with whatever whoever is talking at that time. They're like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So. His reasoning, though, for taking over the human world is the greatest plot, like, ever. Like She's not that hot. I'm it's, sorry. Well, so Cali- Calabar wants to take over the human world because he got dumped, he's basically. Yeah, he's mad. By, but, it took, but you're right, he's playing the long game because this took 15 years. Uh, Mortal if World, that, which is yeah. probably, like, what is that? I don't know what the Halloween Town time yeah, what is. what their logic is. There but, is no. I mean, I guess... After kind of like what now watching the background, you don't have a lot to work with in Halloween Town. Like if you're not into like trolls, that's true. She is the best looking thing in that town. There's no other. They witches, don't really show any. The only the witches. They don't really show any in this movie any human esque like people except for the grandma. That's yeah, it. Yeah. And then it's all creatures. Uh. So. He... <sighs> that's it. Yeah, uh, it's just like. What, are we going to talk about the showdown in town square? But I want to. We are because showdown in say, town square. <clears throat> fucking Marnie goes, "Hey, chocolate bar." I was just going to say, I have no fucking idea what that even means. It's, a, it's a saying Calabar. It's chocolate bar. Uh, that that's name the reference. I didn't even get. That. Neither did I. I was like, I, I literally wrote, "Why the fuck should call it chocolate bar?" That's what made me uh, laugh. That made me laugh. I thought that was funny, dude. I didn't. That's such a bad insult. I didn't get it. That's it was just a the huge... same way she calls Luke stinky earlier. That's yeah. her. Like, hey, well, he you're. He called himself the big cheese. Yeah, no. so that's why. She's, She's like, like, you're I a stinky cheese. The big cheese. So the mom and grandma, they, they bring him back with the dropping the candle in the Halloween but town. But here's the thing. This dude thing. called, he, he basically killed your only guardians at that point. You don't know if they're going to come back or not. And your response? No, this is after. This is after. It's hate chocolate bar. Yeah, it's after, after, after that. Yeah, it's when the mom. But it's the biggest turnaround from the mom and grandma. They're like, we're witch. The mom's like, we're witches. This is yeah. what we do. The mom loves Halloween. All the time. She loves I Halloween wrote, all the time. I, I literally just wrote, "Is this the worst ending to a film?" So they no. beat possibly yeah. no. So they beat Calabar by me. I don't know. by I can, I can name it the bad ones. by just humming, and the the, hands. the dorky boy is a warlock. And they hum and they go hmm, and they beat Calabar. He fucking just explodes. He just explodes. Yeah, know, it's, there's That's really. It. And then the mom's like, "Yeah, Grandma, come live with us." Luke goes back to being a ghoul. Yeah. He got he got hit she, with the fucking ugly stuff. And stare. she clowned him. He, he's she was it. like, "I guess," or he was like, "I guess." Uh, you want like turned some... into something ugly? She's like, "Yeah." <laughs> like, it doesn't but even she also says she would. Well, yeah, we could have dated, or, yeah. or we can still date. He has a dick nose, frankly. That's the facts. Uh, uh, she, by the way, that's a funny scene, too. So, we're watching a scene in the movie theater. I don't know, that bitch just flew away. But, <laughs> Calabar, Chocolate Bar, shoots like a bolt at the grandma, and the grandma just fucking sidesteps like any shit. So, it'd be like Voldemort, be like, Avada Kedavra, and then Harry Potter just like fucking <laughs> miss me, his, throw <laughs> his shoulder back and be like, ah, matrixing it. There's yeah. also an uh, Avatar looking motherfucker at the end, was my, one of my notes. I didn't see that. I had a gremlin. The one dude in the bus is a straight up gremlin's mask. Oh, look out. All right, like the now mom just, just now untaps we're just watching the movie. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's a bad. The mom just like untaps her magic. Yeah. She's like, "Yeah, let's do this, April O'Neil style." Um, can we talk about just? Well, can we get into the Harry Potter shit then? Because it, oh, this movie's this movie ripped off. It did come or out. Harry Potter after. ripped no, off this. J, J.K. Rowling. This must, movie came out after. But yeah, but this was already was in production. production. There's this no. Script. It's not like this just got dropped. Yeah, yeah but if, if oh, the yeah, movie came gonna, out, it's not like she's like, "What you're gonna suck?" She's like, Harry Potter's "JK's not like, wrong. oh, what's Disney Channel original movies I, working on? I That's what I'm gonna take." I will go on record because she was nobody until you can, the first book. JK Rowling, you can sue me. Come at me. Halloween Town. I, she's gonna, I, I'm she's, a trans. She's just gonna hate you. Yeah. 1998. I am going on record saying that JK Rowling stole. The plot of Harry Potter, because of I can't Halloween do this. Town. I can't do this. It's gonna <laughs> get cut out. But listen, he's so upset. <laughs> I'll leave it in, but it's bullshit. So none of you matter. June twenty sixth, nineteen ninety seven. You think that this wasn't in production a yeah. year before you it came think out? The script. Although this movie was filmed in twenty seven days, but <laughs> was it really? Yeah. 
So how much background information do you have on this? There's like a, a, there's a website that has like 20 fun facts or something. Like yeah. That. I no, saw. I just want IMDb. Fun facts. Uh, it has it on there. Okay. Um. Yeah, Harry Potter was stolen. Yeah, dude, Cal from Halloween Voldemort. Town, Voldemort, Voldemort. The Voldemort. So you're telling me that the so, hold on, hiding hold on, hold on. their magic from <laughs> the kids. Hold Voldemort's on. whole thing is he wants to take back the mortal world. He wants to get rid of the mortals. In part two, spoiler alert. Give it a pause if they want to turn it off. Spoiler yeah, alert. skip ahead. So part two has a secret love child of Calabar. I almost call him Voldemort because Voldemort also has a secret love child. And what? And, the fucking and, cursed child? Uh, is that not Harry Potter? No, it's not canon. <laughs> I it count is that shit canon. Um, <laughs> I will say that. So you're telling me that this movie, which so I'm d- Harry Potter and the We're Sorcerer's not even saying Stone this movie. We're came saying out this series. a year before. Okay, all right. If you're saying the series, that's fine. But I'm saying Sorcerer's Stone all, came out a year it. before this movie came out, which means she wrote it like two years before the movie was even in production. How is that the that. case? You can't you say can that. Write a book in a day. Do you know how long it takes to uh, make movies? You got to do. Right, rewrites. Do you think this got rewrites? You think that this movie got rewrites? <laughs> Dude, we, we had this guarantee. whole conversation in a text yard that you weren't just Yo. fucking fired up. <laughs> yeah. If, if I, this movie had rewrites, I want to watch the original cut. For I, those who don't know, that's the voice of Shane. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch the movie. Shane hasn't seen the movie. But I, I didn't know. You said the requirement was that everyone had to watch had one, one Halloween so Town, which I thought <laughs> I had to just watch a random Halloween Town. I'm going to sit back for Halloween talk Town about how too, shitty yeah. it Halloween was. Halloween Town 2 featuring Shane. All right, so... Let's wrap our thoughts up on how we're we're getting yeah, to an hour. Let's move along. Let's, yeah, let's Harry wrap our Potter thoughts up on how this is plagiarized. Was Harry Potter plagiarized? All right, so now we're gonna get into Halloween Town two. Electric no. Boogaloo. So, what are some of the <laughs> other connections for Harry Potter for the Halloween no, Town? I'm not gonna go anywhere else. There's monsters. There's vol- ghosts. There are monsters. Oh, witches. Oh, witches. Hidden magic. They're you're telling magic me. That, you're telling me that uh, the third movie, Halloween Town High, isn't clearly Hogwarts. Hogwarts the room requirement. You even fucking said it. <laughs> <laughs> this came out. That, that came out like when like the fifth book came out. Yeah, but they had it, it probably. All, they had theory. it already. I will say. So they, full, they planned this movie out and said this is a four part series. Off Harry Potter. One hundred percent. So you're time travel shit. You so yeah, you're a time turner. So you're agreeing that I'm agreeing they that ripped off Harry Potter, not the other way around. We're agreeing that J.K. Rowling stole the idea. Stole the and original then, and idea. And then they said, well, she's going to steal from yeah. us. We're going to steal exactly. from her. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe they were collaborating. Did they say it as sassy as that? They did. <laughs> they were probably collaborating. Bob got very like, what you talking about? I'm pretty about? sure I rolled like, my eyes a little I, bit, too. I, I, he almost snapped his fingers. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Columbus? <laughs> So the fun it's, fact, this said, I just discovered your movie. <laughs> so Did fun it. fact, uh, Emma Watson was supposed to play Marnie. That's a fun fact. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she didn't get it, so she went to Halloween. No, that's bullshit. It. I made that up. It's also the same amount of money. Interesting. Chamber of Secrets was like four million. What? Wasn't it the film? Look how many. No, I was. I thought you were. Se- I thought you were serious. <laughs> what? You say the the You're British me sorcerer stone. Sorcerer stone. Say- Literally sorcerer no, stone. No, no, no. From no, the no, time no, no, they no. go into like what? what, what Diagon Alley. Like the, the minute they go to Pivot, pivot Drive. Fucking- no, no, no. That's what, no, I'm saying like the time they get to like the dog. To the end of the movie, what's that? Twenty minutes? Yeah, that costs four mil. That costs no, no, no. four mil right Casting there. Casting the cast is more than four mil. No, no, no. I thought you were. I thought that you, that's what you thought, and that's why I was like, "Well, <laughs> dude, you can't be." Come on. Yeah, we're now we're serious. <laughs> Sophie, I'm, it, I'm, Sophie is Ginny Weasley, I right? She's powerful, things, but gets nervous. But I will say, J.K. Rowling stole. You got Potter a big time. <laughs> you got a big time there, dude. Look. It's Harry Potter, right? Marnie's Harry Potter. She's okay. not the best wizard, but her two siblings, also, right? You have a big time shit. nerd in Dylan. That's Hermione. Hermione. And then you have a, a really power, a really good wizard who gets no respect, like Ron. Ron. It's the fuck, dude. It's fucking plagiarism at its finest. Peeves the Poltergeist. Yeah, yep. Peeves. They sure. owe. J.K. Rowling owes them so much money. Yep. It's she, J.K. Just, Rowling owes some people. People are going to listen to this and think we're serious. <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. Yeah. Um, J.K. Rowling's yeah, I'm not taking it back. Snyder Halloween Cut, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to part two because I have. Yeah, also, two they notes dress for them. <laughs> they dress them as lame as you can dress witches. Like seriously, she's they. Like, well, she's dressed like a hippie. Yeah, she says she's so a lame. hippie in the beginning. Yeah, so yeah. lame. All right, so let's jump into Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge. Shane, can you tell us the plot Shane, of the movie go. since you watched this one? Uh, Calabar's uh, illegitimate, illegitimate, illegitimate son? Without spoilers. Chocolate bar. Illegitimate son? I would get, I, 
We're going to rain the spoiler like, territory like right from the beginning. We're going to fucking talk about how it ends. Why are we worried about spoilers? That's so you, a synopsis, so you can, though, immediately. So you cannot know about it for six minutes until we bring something up? Who cares? Spoil <laughs> the shit out of it. Apparently, Aggie's the only one that can stop his evil plan, so he needs, like, both of her spell books. Nope. So Wrong. his plan is to seduce Marnie. Nope. He uses her spell book to... <laughs> so he comes to fuck. As a brand new neighbor, they have this Halloween party because now they love Halloween. All right, hold on. <laughs> we're, we're, we're diving into things. There, I have a lot of nerds from Halloween Town, too. There's a super weird recap in the beginning of that movie. Yeah, That's like basically them explaining all of Halloween Town. If you watch Halloween Town, too, Shane, you actually yeah, should have known a lot about Halloween <laughs> Town. Because the first three minutes is like a fucking super in-depth recap. Dude, I, as if it's season two of a I show. I was barely paying attention to this movie. Like, we like how far along we had a podcast. Almost an hour. Like they wrapped the movie up in three minutes. Yeah, that's what it should have been. <laughs> we should have just <laughs> plugged that. We should just plug that. That's what I should have done. I um, lost interest pretty much right away. But now they're wait. So this. now they're back in. Uh, they're they're in the mortal. <laughs> Bob's world. throwing hands. He's into yeah. this. No, they're back in the mortal ready. world because I get mad about this. They're back in the mortal world. And it's the fucking same situation as it was in Halloween Town, where the mom. I should have played this for Shane before we started recording. Like the opening, <laughs> the, the, the three minute yeah, opening scene. The the mom and the grandma are fucking at each other's throats because they fucking are mad about Halloween yeah, shit. They're still, like this was, we already did this. We already had this issue. Well, how long is this supposed to be? About two years later. It was yeah, literally yeah. two years later. So she's been living with them for two years. She's like, um. Yeah, but it. you can't start the second movie with the same fucking conflict you had throughout well, the first. you have to have... Like, uh, uh, it's a Halloween sucks. movie. They you, have recurring things. You can't have, do. like... I don't even know how to describe it. Because it doesn't have plot or, like, anything going on. Super... Uh, you de- need, uh... Some tension between them. So now they, they they enjoy Halloween, though. They're having a Halloween party. They fucking party. love Halloween. Yeah. They don't enjoy it. Dylan's, Mom going balls yeah, deep. Yeah, Dylan's Halloween. fucking shooting shots. He's trying to talk to the hot girls. I will advise you that... Not shoot or shoot, though. If you've never seen this movie, to go watch it for the yeah, show. Yeah, don't listen to us. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it's it. not good. I'm, listen to that. Don't go into it <laughs> and be, like, mad afterwards. But it's fucking worth the watch. <laughs> It is. It no, it stinks. Isn't. It's fucking it's, bad. Uh, I will say it's not. If it, you have kids, for it's the purpose, yeah, for younger people. Hey, oh yeah, don't go into it thinking yeah. you're gonna get some fucking piece of excellent uh, cinema. It's a you, kids <laughs> movie. However, if you read reviews on IMDb, it's eighty percent. People like swear they're like straight tens. And the one woman, like I don't know if she's being sarcastic, but she literally calls it like it's like Oscar worthy. Before this, <laughs> before this rewatch, if you ask me how good Halloween Town, oh my god, yeah, yeah, that's like it's a great movie. You guys definitely had rose card glasses. Well, I never saw this, yeah, and I've openly yeah. admitted how bad. And this movie you know is. what? If you're a little kid, this movie probably fucking rocked. Yeah. Here's the beginning of the internet. Yeah, she's yeah. got a. She's in a. Oh my god! So in we're all in the, caps, incredible chat room move. <laughs> yeah. We are in Halloween Town two now. Calabar's Revenge, and it opens with a scene with Marnie on the on the the World Wide Web. In a group text uh, with online a with a speaker that yeah. reads it for her because she's fucking dumb and can't read because <laughs> they don't teach that in witch school. Uh, they just they just fucking teach you how to be spooky, I guess. And it's two years later, but Marnie looks forty. Yeah, she looks. And a the lot brother, older. they say, looks straight wait, up twenty eight. So yeah, two years later, and then at one point they say a year ago in Halloween Town. Really? Yeah, well, that's the timeline. Time holes. Time plot holes abound. So okay, let's let's get into the Shane. <laughs> Uh, it starts off, my first note is cool computer. Uh, the plot of the movie, as we said, is that uh, basically Calabar's son comes back to seek revenge on the mortal world. On the mortal the world. It's the same mm-hmm. thing. They have a cooler plot thing not at the bad, end. Not a bad sequel concept. No, it's first, a poor execution. First yeah. note is um, <clears throat> cool, cool computer. That's it. That's my yeah. first note. I don't have many notes on this right, either. So, well, cool kid Cal shows up, right? Which well, is Calabar's son. Well, Cal not even goes, that. He, surprise, surprise. Cal and, and and Alex, his dad, which we find out later, is just a frog. Is a, you, is a golem. Of you the know, frogs. Cal's yeah. a bad guy. Yeah, he's wearing all black. And he so walks straight up Disney. <laughs> he shows up, says, "I'm new, but I've been waiting to meet you." So yeah, it's just and moved so in. here's the thing, right? This is right jacket. after Dylan just tried to get he tried to get his dick wet, did not work. Cal shows up, right? And he's like, yo, what's up? I'm new. You should take me to the dance. And Marnie is also just like yeah. super wet. Yeah, she she's fucking panties explodes. dripping. <laughs> like, let's let's do that. And I, I, my note is literally like if she wanted to like just be – if she's that 
horny. She should have just stayed in Halloween Town with Luke and his dick face because that dude has a straight up dick nose, right? <laughs> this is where I got at that point in these movies where I was just like, "Fuck this! I'm just gonna rip these apart." <laughs> well, word then for word. immediately, she's just like, "Hey." Let's go up to my grandma's bedroom. Yeah, come up. And, yeah, let me show you this weird room in the house that doesn't really exist. So she just like snaps her fingers. The door appears. They go in, and like it's it's super sexual. It stinks. They're gonna they're gonna get it on in grandma's creepy shit. And then Kale, also none of the spells in these movies sound like anything. Yeah. Like not that there is like a something that should sound like a spell. It's like a random assortment of words that rhyme. Yeah. Well, like, the one Kale speaks like German. There you go. <laughs> I like that. I like that inflection. It's just gonna. Yeah, but like anything that Marnie says, just sounds like she's fucking like just choking on mm-hmm. things. Like, well, it's the, not like it doesn't mix. It doesn't well, sound right. When it comes to spells, we'll bring it up later. Yes. About dude, the spells not making sense. So Tarta? fucking lazy. Dude, a lot of them yeah. feel like they're made up on the spot. <laughs> This is like, like, these made up on the spot. <laughs> that, yeah. that stupid that chant they have to do to get to Halloween Town, how it opens the portal. It sounds like they're just making it up yeah, it, as they go it's along. It's like fucking. Uh... Welcome to magic. And I think in the third one, which we're never going to get to, they say a spell the entire movie, and then at the end, they say the wrong spell. Really? really? Like, they, the last word in the spell is completely different than what they've been saying all the whole movie. <laughs> like, it's like, Vito, Vito, Fato. Sure. And at the end, they're like, Vito, Vito. Hoogie, and I'm like, that's not the spell you've been using this whole movie. Like, what so happened? with this movie, I don't. I have a bunch of notes, but I don't have anything to talk about because I found this one kind of more easier to watch, but it sucks. That's There's a lot of, of things about. I think after the first movie, I was like, oh, okay, these really suck. Yeah. And so I came into this one with zero expectations. Yeah, my notes. Like, basically, less. Cal, this dude Cal steals the spell book. And- I also asked what teenager. Stranger asked for a tour during a party. Well, he's trying to fuck. We, yeah. well, I, we I, went over that. I, yeah, I was he blacked out again. But <laughs> I said, this kid is a freak, but obviously, but <laughs> obvious villains are obvious. She tried to fuck this dude ASAP Rocky. Yeah, mm-hmm. I said he's trying to fuck him. He should have stayed in Halloween Town with Luke's dick. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. And then he's he, So he looked like he got beat with the ugly stick when he turned back to normal at the, at the end of the first one. And he actually looks like decent at the start of this yeah, one. Yeah, puberty. Yeah. I guess he went through puberty. Yeah. You're right, you're right. There, there he is. is. Cal Bad on the guy. Screen. And I just fucking, said, British so, men are always fuck, evil. So like Cal's wearing kid, black. Yeah, black. Like, is that a blaze? Like, I think it's that? a leather, leather jacket. Leather jacket. He's wearing like a half turtleneck. Black and Marnie half turtleneck. Just, I fucked the shit out of him. Leather. We're at the we're at the seven minute mark in the second movie, and Marnie oh. just took her clothes off with his eyeballs. <laughs> a leather probably chain wallet. And the leather, mom's trying shoes. to fuck too. Right, there, he, there he went to the chain wallet. Barrel too many And then who shows up behind him but fake looking? Uh, who's the guy who plays Superman? <laughs> Henry Cavill? No. no. Uh, oh. He's on Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, Brandon Ruth. It looks like a fake <laughs> Brandon Ralph. <laughs> he looks like a Brandon. He kind of looks like a frog if you kind of look at yeah. him. Another plot twist. Yeah, fucking. So this. And so then, like, face... is she into him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like immediately? Because her kids are like, no, fucking... no, no. And she's like, she looks... you're trying to ruin my well, that's dick. A, that's toward like, the middle. In the she's beginning, she's like, fucking rock really, and dance moves later on in this movie. She does. Yeah, doesn't he? He shows up with like like two things of like jello or something. Yeah, right? green jello. Green jello. He's fucking obsessed he with He likes green. green. Why do you need. He's like two gallons of green jello. Shane, he's a fucking... Shane, he's a frog. Yeah. He's a but, frog. Like, he's a, a nice thing frog. To bring to a party. <laughs> frog or not, if I showed up to it's your house. It's probably just a bunch of shadows. Proper party. If etiquette. you show up to my house with two tubs of green jello, I'm going to be fucking pumped. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna party or not, just show up to my house with two tubs of green jello. So. Guys, I think the other. watch these movies. The weird thing with. whenever A lot of movies do that, too. And it's always like a weird scenario they have never done where the mo- the parents date and then the kids date. Yeah, it don't make sense. It like because if the parents get married, then your brother and sister. You can't be yeah. Then yeah. if you break up as kids, like it just or I don't like. I think both are just trying to get their yeah. To get yeah I don't think this is a long mom. I have situation. no problem. I, I don't would. think any of them were it, thinking. It, like, mom long. probably hasn't gotten any. No way. Her, Looking like that. Her she's... own her own mother is living with her don't... now. Mm. Wait, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mom? Oh, oh yeah, she has no problem. Like, I don't think she's getting any because her mom's living with her now. So, like, she's, she's a lit witch, too. She could... 
There's she always a way, dude. But like, so I think that she's like, oh yeah, we can go to this dance later as chaperones, even though none of our kids yeah. are there. So, well, there. then speaking of green jello and Harry Potter, there's also <laughs> green jello, it's true. green pudding at the Great Hall. Another is, J.K. Yes. Rowling stole Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so they spent, they have to spend a whole the year in Halloween. Thing which does remind me of, of the uh, ball. Yeah, from, yeah. From Goblin and like a lot of the spells talk about the spells sound very similar. Yeah. To aparta. What they're kind of doing. Tarpa. Tarpa aparta. Yeah, see? Trap iron chicken. Trap iron It's the laziest. <laughs> The laziest. Uh, we're jumping ahead to that. No, 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 we gotta wait. That's good. No, I don't no. want to summarize this whole. Yeah, you know what? Forget. God it. damn. All right, thank God. Let's just notes. talk about fucking how. <laughs> how J.K. stole the. How J.K. Rowling yeah, stole her. How this is all stolen. No, no, no. There's no. a few things I did like here. So, Cal, walkie talkies. Cal, the, the walkie, walkie talkies, talkies are cool. cool. Yep. Cal turns. Halloween so, uh, down into like Depression era Halloween town. So right. hold on, before oh, we start doing this, Cal at the wall. Oh, yeah, twenty seven oh. minute mark. That's the first I ever wrote so. down a time for something. <laughs> Around the twenty seven minute mark, there is a block where the pumpkin used to be. So and Cal's face comes out and he just monotones his way it's through the, about forty fucking lines. Well, so I forgot to mention we're we're talking to people who potentially <laughs> who have never seen this movie. The walkie talkies are two heads. Two, no, no, like head, like, like shrunken heads, like yeah. from the third Harry Potter. For like, an like hour. you're still listening. They look just shit. like the heads that are hanging already. from the night bus. You're right, Does. J.K. Rowling stole Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that you say J.K. Rowling stole Harry Potter. <laughs> like, like she stole Harry Potter. Stole Harry Potter. Harry Potter Did these walkie talkies can communicate between Halloween Town and uh, the mortal world? Okay, so now we're talking about anything, anything good, Cala, anything, Cala anything. Bland yeah. in the wall, Mr. Bland Tw- actor. So the only part I like about that is he, where he's just like, I could have stole the book because all I got talking to him, <clears throat> I could have stole the book at any time. But I wanted you to feel something. And he <laughs> took it from you. It's like what a fucking creep. Like, <laughs> he could have just ran into that room, took it. But he was like, I'm gonna I fucking make that. this girl so wet. I wanted, his, I wanted this girl to get so turned off. Yeah. It's so fucking weird. It's it's literally the scene felt like it lasted ten minutes, yeah. and it's just yeah. so. This is when she realizes the mortals are going to die. Yeah. This the is when the world is gray. This <laughs> is when she realizes who he is. And she's like, ah, oh, yes. And she puts rose. it together, no problem. Yeah, it's the most I subtle thing. I should have known. You I gave me a rose. rose. So it's like anyone who gives you roses, Cal. And they, and and they have to show you the scene yeah. from the first one because it's such a minute detail that Calabar gives Calabar. her mom a rose in the first Cal. one. Cal. Like, what? <laughs> Calabar. Calamare. Cal. Cal. I wish it, I wish the kid's name was Calamare because it's you know, like Calabar and Calamare. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Um, I said I actually liked that the grandma forgets the spell. She's not like, oh, yes, I remember this spell, which leads to them going to this ogre. Um, another a good another good character. Gore? Mr. Gore, yes. Yeah, is that Gore. his name? Yeah, I, don't know. Yeah. I call him Stanley from the office. He's Stanley, he's Stanley and Steve Urkel put together. Yeah. He's like a weird mix of Stanley and Steve Urkel. Shane? So yeah. this movie, we have a conflict introduced <laughs> at the 40-minute mark. So we've now shaved 16 minutes off of introducing a major yeah. conflict. Because now we find out that they have to get back to the real world by midnight. We're going to turn everybody into whatever their Halloween house. But time is. makes no sense. But there is Halloween no time. time. And then also, it's the very time inconsistent. Yes. This movie felt like they said, "Hey, I want to have. I, we we want to have her go to Gort. Okay. Yeah, that'll be a cool guy. It's like where all the things that get lost go. Mm. All right." Well, then we'll have Cal be there and we'll have him trap him. Well, no, 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 no. Cal talks to them through the fireplace. Harry Potter. Just like in Harry Potter. Yep, I said that. J.K. Rowling's (laughs) (laughs) old. We'll have Cal Cal talk to him and then we'll we'll have him trap him in there. Cool, how are we going to get out of that? Uh, I don't know, time travel? Yeah, we can do fucking time travel. I don't understand that. How are we going to make time travel work? I don't know, we'll have more time travel. Also, they start from the the start of the century. When they go through, it's like they start at like 1400. Well, she says the same same spell three times. One time it takes her like two minutes prior. The second time it takes her to fucking like Neanderthals. And the third time it takes her back like to a part where Gort still exists. She didn't change anything about the spell. Okay, so we're there. They're bland. 
Uh, the grandma goes with them. The grandma turns bland too, which she remind. I was like, she which, reminds. She turned yeah. into my granny. Like I, she looked exactly like my granny. Super boring show Luke. I really enjoyed. That. I did yeah. also like. like I, don't care. Care. I like whatever. the reasoning of <laughs> why like they're turning gray. Is they are caricatures of humans. Yes. So mm-hmm. it's basically like when Chappelle does is like white voice, who's a white person. <laughs> so monsters see us as these gray, boring people. So Gort goes. They said like just like we make fun of them on Halloween yeah. dress up. They make a fun plot of us. the third one. Yeah, and um, Gort, who talks like that, now talks like that. Yeah. That's right, so he's like Steve Urkel, yeah, but he's got does. like a Stanley aspect. And to that him. always irked, it just bothered me. It was just like, this voice is so, like, my blood, like, It's a caricature. Curls. It is a caricature, I caricature. get it. Caricature. Um, so they're there, and that's when they're like, okay, we need to figure out a spell to turn them back. Before they do the time travel thing, right? This nonsense. It's, cool. No, it's, it's, they've done the time travel. But they haven't figured out how to get to their timeline. Yet. Okay, so just to be clear, did they their do the, way to they solve did the initial time travel. To no, go back they didn't to do the spell yet, though. No, no that no, okay. is, that's more awful. Like, hey, we're gonna figure this out logic yeah. because we need to figure it out. Yeah, because they figured it out in the past. So to right. be clear, yeah. the point of them going back in time is because they go to the land of the lost, which is Gort's house, where yeah, the, the book, the where yeah. the book, and the book gets lost in the. Which in means it the goes house to like of the, lost the nowhere, or whatever he's So no. they need to go back in time. No, 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 no. I thought that's why they do this. He sold the book to Calabar, which is also another stupid plot. Oh, no, the, the, the spell that she wrote down gets lost. Yeah, they entirely. lose the time travel spell. The book that they were looking for. You're explaining it to me like this is the first time I've seen it. Because that's how I, I'm reacting. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah, so, the book he gets, he said Calabar came and got that years ago, which means that he had one copy of the book. So he stole the second copy so that they wouldn't have a copy at so all. So he yeah, right, right, right. he had everything he needed. Like I don't know why it was had... just well the, the reason they stole the book was so that she couldn't reverse. But he's got classic like villain syndrome. But why did it take? Exactly yeah. what he's doing. Uh, I know. Why yeah, did yeah, it yeah. take so long for them to activate the spell? Mm-hmm. Calbar had this fucking spell years ago. He's freezing people in a fucking movie theater <laughs> one at a time. He's playing the long game. Yeah. No sense. And then also, also, you can't interrupt somebody's spell. It's part of the code of Merlin. Well, the other didn't code. You realize that the other weird code that didn't make sense to me, and I clearly paid more attention to the second one about the little nuances is you can't steal another person's spell book. Oh. So, cool. fucking uh, Princess Leia's mom had her <laughs> spell book, and she had this spell. Why? Does she, her family, have this gray spell? Like, why? You would think an evil wizard would have this Dude, spell. Dude, she has a bunch of, like, bad spells, I, it looks like. Maybe she was bad. Maybe we need a prequel. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I so, think Christopher Columbus come back. Like so they, they time... Oh, shit. Halloween Town, Rollins. the Fantastic Beast. <laughs> <laughs> J.K. Rowling stole Halloween Town. <laughs> J.K. Rowling stole Fantastic Beast for Halloween Town prequel. J.K. Rowling stole Harry Potter. Um, the, the, so I, my next note is that it's the worst vanishing trick ever. So they disappear, and it's literally like they just cut, remove her, and they resume, and it's like she's gone. Oh, it's the laziest that, vanishing trick. It's just like somebody disappears. It's not like they dissolve. They When's just disappear. With the... When Calabar shows up at Gortes. Oh, okay. Because uh, I don't know where we're at in terms of plot. So the app- we're, when we're, the appar- neither, neither did yeah, the people that the were writing the movie, yeah. so it's not a big deal. J.K. Rowling stole just Harry like, Potter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> No, but so like the logic to get to anything. So he's like, you're trapped in this house, and she's like, oh, we're we're trapped inside the house, so we can't go outside, but we could go so, back in time. No, her reasoning is that and then she just knows a time travel spell off the top of her head. She can't do shit. She's done a fucking good spell in fucking two movies, and all of a sudden she can just do a time traveling spell. The, the reasoning is Trap that up. they're trapped in the house, and she's like, we can't leave the house, and he's like, yeah, fucking no. But, like any computer, cool. there's a back door. So all of a sudden she's a computer yeah, expert a computer. because she was typing yeah. in the AOL chat room in the beginning <laughs> of the movie. No reference again to a computer until this scene. And she's like, we go anywhere, in the house, anytime. And it's like, oh, shit. So this, we apologize for any audio problems that we had. The audio quality gets a little crappy, so we're, we're good now. Uh, so we kind of forget what we were talking about. This movie sucks. <laughs> uh, there's no point to this film. I would understand if terrorism happened because of this movie. Oh, yeah, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding, obviously. Second chance, people. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the little, the, I put the little sister is definitely the stronger witch. She doesn't get that opportunity. Uh, and she, Gore keeps the scabs under the porch, which is strange. She turns into a terrible actor, actress in this movie, too. Oh, my God, like, yeah. what happened? She, she was a good, cute kid, and now she's just a pile of garbage yeah. like the rest of this film. It's like a blank face every time she talks. Like, yeah, did she get cast with Calabar Spell? Because she's, Yeah, she yeah, turned gray. Safe. All right, so uh, I don't really have anything else to add with the time travel. The time travel part is very confusing to me. They ride their it's just broom the idea through. That they, yeah, they, they literally have a timeline that they ride their broom through. So it's just like, hey, we had time well, travel. Well, you go, how are you going to get them back? And then, so literally, this is, what I, this is what I'm saying. There was no writer's room. There couldn't have been. They are like literally on set, and they're like, all right, well, they're back in time. What do we do next? I it's think like, Mickey Mouse wrote this line. movie. I think they got a bigger budget, so they were like, we have effects. We have the do. effects are fucking awful. Also, yeah. how if you get a bigger budget, how does Disney Channel make money? Because they don't have advertisements. They have they advertise their own shows on the channel. Merchandise, I don't know. DVD sales. They don't advertise Matrix. anything outside. There's no way they don't advertise. Anything no, outside. They, that's why I used to watch this. Because fun fact, when I was a kid, I was terrified of the Passion of the Christ preview, and so they would show that but on Nickelodeon I'm and saying stuff. They don't advertise like they toys or anything like that. No, it's all Disney related stuff. I swear to God, that's the only reason I watched Disney that's Channel a as a fact? kid. I don't yeah, know. they do not advertise on Disney Channel. They There's might have. No they might do. They Channel. might do like partnerships with like a cereal or something, but they do not that's advertise. An advertisement. That, well, I know what he's saying. Though. No, but it's not like you're not seeing a regular ad that you're going to see on Nickelodeon. Like a Lego, you want to see a Lego commercial? No, you don't see any of them. What's, it's what's all Disney Channel they just stuff. Promote their own stuff. Promote their own stuff. It's been yeah. so long since I've seen a commercial. Exa- I haven't watched Disney Channel in a very long time, but that's how it used to be because I was terrified of seeing a Passion of the Christ commercial. <laughs> Christ so trailer. So I would watch Dis- <laughs> Disney Channel at night, and because it was only Disney Channel stuff. <laughs> What? The Passion of the Christ. It, it used to freak oh, me out. All right, ready? All right, I so gotta they, watch the Disney You're show. right. It's true. They only advertise Disney related things, but they do advertisements for other things that are sponsored by Disney. So I think they might have Marvel like a Disney movies. sponsored. No, but they might have a did like a, a Disney sponsored McDonald's ad if Disney was like the Happy Meal. The tour. Happy okay. Meal. Okay. All right. So they get money back somehow. They do have other. Adver- it's not just like every time you, it's a commercial on Disney Channel. It was just a commercial for fucking like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. That's how I used to. So like exactly, there might be like uh, this Disney toy in the Happy Meal, but like yeah. I don't remember seeing those. Like that might. I feel like that's like more recent. Disney Channel, that that was just always how do they make money? Apparently, it used to be a premium cable network. Yeah, because when I got base of cable, I don't have Disney Channel. That's why I never. That is true. Watched Maybe this. that's why it was premium. I never came across. Hollywood. This is what I'm fucking paying for. This is what people paid for. Also, but this is Disney a Oscar worthy owns... movie. Apparently, according to this <laughs> Disney owns on ABC, IMDb. so I get like yeah, synergy. They probably can do whatever the fuck they want. Disney can really. do whatever they want. Um, the that's next thing I really weird. have is the chaperones. Who, what kind of chaperone dances in the middle of the floor? All right, we jumped floor? way ahead. We need to get Who back. Who cares? I'm no. not telling plot. We, need, <laughs> we skipped the spell. So. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah, forgot. Yeah. Yes. We need again, that one. This is important. Yeah, this this is, is important. But it, again, just shitty fucking logic. So, he writes down what she said earlier, which they remember word for word, apparently. Just he does. fucking insane. So at one point in the movie, they're all... They're trying to figure out and Luke's whatever. Super Luke cool is and chill. Luke's gray, and then, he turns and then all of a sudden normal. she's just talking. They turn around and he's back to dick his dick nosed wild self. And then later on, they're trapped in the past and they're trying to undo the spell. So, like you said, it, they're like their logic is like, oh, we need to reverse it. So the spell must be read backwards, which is fine. But they don't remember spell forward. So he's like, well, obviously something you said. Was the spell backwards? So they write down what she said. She said like, "What a part, a part." So the spell was Ed, tarpa. What, yeah, what was it? But he goes, he goes, uh, he they write tarpa. down the shit backwards. He goes, "Wait, trapa? That's yeah, a part trapa. backwards." That's what it was. So like, what? Like we talked about earlier, every spell is this long Gregorian multiple sentence chant. And, it sounds like shit. And this fucking super powerful spell is it's one just word. Tarpa. Yeah. And you say it backwards or forwards. Also, like, they say tarpa, and they have to, like, walk up to somebody and say tarpa. But yet, the all of Halloween Town is gray. So what, did he just, like, yell tarpa real loud? Like, Maybe, why does yeah. he Why can he turn the whole place, but they have to, like, do it Listen, literally, like, if you can turn your head into a giant inch, wall it's a, and it's yell a tarpa. Fuck, it's a brick. It's just a big old brick. <clears throat> it looks like, looks like he's in Diagon Alley. All right, so now we have the timeline thing. Jake, everyone saw Harry Potter. It's fucking <laughs> terrible, right? Here's the... <laughs> Here's possibly the worst part of the movie. Uh-oh, Biggest issue that I had in the entire movie. 
and it's not that big of an issue. All right, hit us with it. They're counting down to midnight. Yes. On Halloween, which is yes, weird. And yes, they yes. start 45. at 45. <laughs> they start at 60. 60. They're like, oh, yeah, it's almost midnight. 59. I, 58. Who the fuck that counts down from 60? Immediately. I'm sitting on the couch with my wife, and I'm half paying attention. And I'm just like, they're, I was like, they're counting down from 60. <laughs> and she's like, what do you mean? I was like, they're having like a New Year's Eve countdown, but they start. It's, and they're counting down. Halloween for Halloween night. to be over. over. Yep. Doesn't I'm like, I'm very confused what's set. happening. It does not make any sense. But I'm glad you picked that up because I forgot about that. Dude, actually. I was furious. That was like, who counts from 60? It's just fucking dumb. With such vigor, too. They're like, 60. Yeah. By the time you get like 41, you're it's like, like uh, 40. <laughs> it's like the 99 49. bottles of beer yeah. on the wall song. So then they like okay. open up the portal that they're not supposed to open. Mar- Marnie's just like, fuck it. No rules. Because it's past Halloween. Doesn't matter. We're going to open it up because we're the Cromwells. We're yeah. going to do whatever we want. And then they go back and it's like big showdown between... Well, he turned everybody into monsters. Yeah, they're all monsters. Which, again, was another like weird part. So anything you're wearing, you turn into that. But if you were like a construction worker, yeah. you stay. There was some dude so in the back the... with like a yeah. orange vest on. He was just a normal human being. <laughs> the brother dressed as okay. a racist caricature yeah, right, of a Mexican. And he didn't yep. turn Mexican. He was just Because yeah, he, he wasn't wearing a sombrero. If he was, he, he might have. It yeah, El Kiko. Yeah, well, it was, <laughs> it was uh, Sophie was something <laughs> like that, too. She was a cowgirl. Cow cow yeah, she turned well, into a Well, I think the other thing, the other Because there was other people there that didn't transform. that's what I'm saying. And construction it's like, construction worker was still a construction well, worker. And everybody was just like, okay, like, All what just happened? I have. Why does the spell not, why does the spell affect the mom if it only affects humans? And but she's a witch. It only affects humans, I guess. But wasn't it only anyone who dressed as a monster? It was only supposed to affect humans. And she's a witch. So why did, I guess that mass and was special. A, but when she turned into a monster, that was cool looking. Her oh, yeah, the costumes monster, yeah. Together, yeah. Pretty sweet. I remember they used to show that and Marnie flying off on the broom into the timeline on Disney Channel all the time. Yeah, I remember, I remember that, that. Yeah, yeah A timeline. Oof. Oof. Thing. Oof. But so then, it's clear that they were just like, hey, we have computer effects. This movie also goes on for about 15 minutes too long. Mm-hmm. Right, because it's, it's like I, at the end, Calabar I'd argue loses. it's an hour and a half too long. So that's <laughs> and no one reacts appropriately yeah. in all, any of these movies. No. like... Some dude turns into a werewolf, and they're like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, like, yeah. No one runs. They're just, dude, like, standing the, there with their arms waving around. In oh, the oh, third oh. movie, when the big the big blue guy... Shame, he, we're not there yet. He, yeah. Shut up. He picks up the, the jock, and he watched. tosses him, and he's just, like, a big blue weirdo in the middle of the mall, and no one's like, oh, oh, well. Yeah, yeah. It's well, just well, part three. They big gave up on that. Is fun. <laughs> he's... I'm a big fan of that. I didn't watch the third <laughs> It was a big blue weirdo. It was weirdo on though. earlier, and I was facing the other way. But, yeah, no one reacts appropriately, and then... The terrible CGI that we talked about earlier. There's so much in this movie, though. So much bad CGI. So when, what's his name's like? You want the book? You want? Hold on. You want the book? <laughs> you got to take it from me. And he holds the two books so, out. Hey, both hey, books. Sir Roger, both books are out, and then all of a sudden he creates like venom-like tendrils. With yeah. No explanation. Said, that that was how the movie ended. Was just I said I don't get the books from me. You want the books? I don't think I understand the end. She just grabs the books and that kills him. And that's no problem. Yeah. Well, the book kills him. J.K. Rowling still Harry Potter. That's right. The journal. <laughs> the journal. He was. Marvalo Reed. Riddle or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, so and then, and then he, she over. takes a book. I'm done. He fucking I'm blows done. away. I'm done. They all they all turn human and the mayor's like, oh, Which I, that, that was, that was the, the greatest party ever. Everyone's, like, yeah. just, everyone's just like, I just had this weird dream as I sleep and the girl just laughs. It's like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, did they, they wipe the minds? Like, they do magic no, right in front of people. No, it would make sense if she wiped the minds. It doesn't make sense because I, half of the party were human still. So I guess he got they turned into a this? monster. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that that plot of changing people into their costumes could be a really cool yeah. plot for a movie. Well, I'm saying, yeah, the cool idea is good idea. All right, we're going to have like an Bad execution. All right, illegitimate son who's upset about yeah, this. Yeah, poor execution. Good plot line. Bad execution. Have, yeah, then like, all right, well, we'll have him just time travel six times. Yeah. What the fuck is that? All right, so part three. So that's the end. I, that's, that's as far as I got to. I was not subjecting myself to the third one. Three was actually the best one. Not even like being so. The third one called the Halloween two. Town. I only High. watched half of three, and so it was. So three, it's more than you watched of yeah. one. Here's, and <laughs> Total here's, Shane watched twenty five minutes of Halloween Town movies. <laughs> I can give you just a quick rundown of why three is better. They didn't go to Halloween Town. It stayed. The Halloween Town High is in the Mortal World. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then the mom, so the grandmother they, just so gets a job they do, teaching there. The they do plot, like a foreign exchange thing. Yeah, it's foreign exchange of like kids from Halloween Town. Come to our okay. world. So the people know, do they know? No, they're all in They're all dressed as human. They rip off their skin and they're monsters. A big blue weirdo, Shane said. Oh, okay. Um, That's where the big blue weirdo comes into play. So they need a less budget, oh. probably. So the costumes look great. The monsters look The monsters way do look better. Cool. I remember the blue monster um, growing up. They didn't use a lot of computer technology. What they did was way except, except for the the granny's bag which looks that's where all great. the cgi it looked fine went. though the, the bag is like a crocodile skin bag so it grows like crocodile legs walks around it actually looks pretty good um the plot straightforward there's another riff twist in it like the first three the bad guys the twist that you know immediately if you're an adult if you're a kid mm. you're probably like, oh my god and this comes out in oh three <clears throat> oh four oh four and the last one yeah oh, six so and then like I said, it was a, it was better of the three. Part four, we put on for five minutes, turned off. It wasn't even the same. Marnie's Marnie, not they even, changed Marnie to yeah. another girl. We looked her up earlier. It just it looked so like Danielle Pennebaker wanted it, it. was filmed like a soap opera. Like it looked. Yeah, the, the lighting's weird. Yeah. So basically, for the the part of this podcast, I guess until Halloween twenty twenty one, where we review Halloween Town High and uh, ha- return to Halloween Town. Halloween Town one and two are the only ones that exist in the realm of this podcast, for, except. From what Marvel has mentioned and Shane have mentioned that Halloween Town High, probably better than one and two. Um, there's no need for me to ever watch these movies again. These are not movies I probably will not show to my kid. There's no reason for me to. But I mean, who knows? I might. You'll show them. Probably. Because I'll be like, <laughs> I love this garbage as a kid. You have to watch it too with your rose-colored glasses. Oh, you want to watch Harry Potter? I got something better for you. <laughs> This is this is actually where let's Harry watch, Potter yeah, came let's from. Let's watch the original. <laughs> yeah, <that's>... um, so, <laughs> uh, closing thoughts on the Halloween Town series uh, before we get to our last segment. I thought it was fine. Incredible. Just I... as just as good as I remembered. No, I'm kidding. It's what a, are we going to watch? It's, it's, it's a, a kids, kids movie. movie. Costume kids. design ten out of ten. Plot do... zero out of ten. <laughs> yes, that's true. It's easy to rip apart. It's like a kids you movie. Kids yeah, movie. it's a kids movie. It's a fucking made for television kids movie. Yeah, four million dollar budget, which is two million dollars on the second one, yeah. one million on the last it's, one. It's... Two million went to Daddy Reynolds. Yeah, like... <laughs> a million went to costume design. It's so easy. What could, I will say is that get what you get. I definitely watched these movies when I was old enough to realize how bad they were and don't remember them being this bad. I watched them when I didn't realize they were this bad, and I'm sorry that like I I've watched seen them. I feel like I've seen Halloween Town when I was in high school. So I'm talking like I was like 15, 16 years old. I probably watched Halloween Town, the first one, and didn't think like this is a fucking garbage movie. Right. It was just like, oh, yeah, it's a Halloween you know movie. Better, yeah. I will say if you haven't seen it, do watch it because it's it's kind of like a cult thing. When we were growing up, my friends were like, yeah, dude, this was like a good movie. And then until this point, when I'm 25 years old, realizing how bad these were. Espo. 20 and years later. It's on Disney Plus. So yeah, it's free. It's free. Espo, and it's, a, watch a big, it for the spooky a season. A big spooky season guy has never seen any of the Halloween towns, which well, was surprising. That, that's me. fine. But he he'll was also, for he'll him. listen to this. Yeah. And he'll <laughs> immediately also not watching watch like, a, yeah, he's a real, like the real Halloween at like six. Well, right, well so this wild. was our spooky episode. So to end it, we're going to have an even scarier thing. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> so, for those that don't know, there's this company called Pacwi, I believe, that they Pac-y? make Pac-y they make a hot chip and they do the one chip We're challenge. In line with what we did last October, which was our hot ones, hot wings, hot sauce episode. We did this chip afterwards off the podcast, and it was hot as fuck. So like Marvel texted shit. us that, hey, I'm going to do this. No. Uh, I'm going to buy four. He there was a picture yeah. with like a, he had a stack of I them. had four of them, and then they all bitched out. Because I I'm did doing this, it. I did this chip between six people, we had like, and yeah, we had, like a, we had a tiny piece, and this shit was hot as fuck. So I opted out. I will gladly watch you do it. And Marvel and Bob. I'm and pretty good with spicy stuff. So I'm, no, I'm be, it's I'm, one of those like painful spices. But that's that's fine. I'm, I'm doing married, it. So I'm doing it. Pain. So uh, I got to drive prob- home after this. I guess it'll wake me up. I, I don't know. <laughs> this is the scariest thing you'll probably you'll do tonight to? in the spooky so season. <laughs> I need to prepare. I was hoping we could move. Uh, on. All right. So oh, we man. are back. <laughs> and they are getting ready to do their chip. chip. Like nothing about it even looks appetizing. <laughs> looks like a turd. Oh, that looks like death. <laughs> Hand the one to Audrey, who's now in the room. Don't touch your face. I don't think you're supposed to touch that without gloves on. 
<laughs> no. It is pretty spicy. Is it even? You have three pieces? Are you doing that piece? I'm doing I this piece? I just want to try it. You don't need to eat the whole thing. I'm doing the whole thing. <laughs> Do the whole thing. All right. As I said, the chewing is not a great part. No. It tastes like shit. It's fine. Yeah. Give it a second. Okay. Don't lick your fingers. I gotta lick my fingers. Am I gonna rub it on my eyes? Some tissues. Go get something. Wait, but this is the one that has like the series of chips, right? Yeah. So what did you want to just do? Is that number one what? or number five? Was it the hottest chip? It's just the hot one. It's the one chip challenge. <laughs> Is it, how's it going, Bob? You definitely can't talk with it. Like, no, it's like in your throat. It like goes in your throat. Oh God! Great but podcast. It's not as too. bad as. Is the, it not as bad as last time? No, it was bad last time. Even last time when we did it, though, it's not as bad as the hot sauces. The hot sauces were bad. Well, because we burned your up on tongue. That, yeah. And it like they like hurt you when throat. you breathe. It like fucking burns every time. But it's just like I just remember it really hurting the chip. I didn't like it, but you guys seem we to be like doing a party okay. though. And that makes it hotter. No, well, like we were trying to have a good time, like <laughs> and we, like, everything shut down because everybody's like fucking like <clears throat> can't you can't get home. enough shit in your <laughs> kiss my wife like come here in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna love that little yeah. mop. All right, well, I mean, you guys seem to be okay. Bob looks uncomfortable, but you guys seem yeah, to be I went okay. To milk already, but it's almond milk, and I've never had that, and I don't think I like it. So <laughs> it's unsweetened almond we're, milk, so it's healthier. Yeah, well, yeah, this is the... it's vanilla, isn't it? Well, it's yeah. vanilla, but unsweetened. That's the only kind I buy. Uh, who cares? Um, it's not. So like, it was. It, I remember it being terrible. way worse for us. It like, it got down my throat immediately. Which okay. Was well, I, you know, I'm glad it wasn't too bad then. Uh, you did it last time. Is it much better this time? It's about the same. Really? I just remember it. it just doesn't not go liking, away. I just remember not liking it. Like it's all over my tongue. Yeah. Like it. All right. Here it's you not go. Not fun. Yeah. Um, J.K. Rowling stole. My <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, well, I guess this is the end of our Halloween episode, guys. Uh, I hope you have a safe and happy Halloween. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our Halloween Town series and our second series in the Disney Plus Disasters. More to come with Christmas Town and Christmas Town 2, uh, Santa's Revenge. Uh, we're doing Hallmark movies. That's right, Hallmark movies. When we say we're going to do a bunch of Christmas All episodes, we're going to do we're going to do maybe a mini episode at this point the way we work can't we just do like one homework movie though because they're all exactly the same like, yeah they are cookie movie. cutter movies yeah for sure uh anything to add before we go boys nope i got a mouthful of milk man i'm just yeah. trying to get this down all right but part just, again people. i just want to say jk rowling come at me <laughs> <laughs> marvel Beef. marvel thank you for coming back to the podcast you know it's always a pleasure you're our fourth chair it's sunday 2021 sunday 2021 yeah. carried this episode since i definitely <laughs> misheard you about which which one to watch I just said that the the minimum requirement was everybody watch one of the movies, so you did fine. We assumed that you were going to watch the first one first. Yeah, not yeah. the third. I one. I thought like, oh, we'll all watch a random movie and we'll talk about all four of them. This is like when Shane watched the la- the third Indiana Jones instead of Temple of Doom. <laughs> Follow instructions, man. <laughs> hey, I watched the better movie, so I don't know what you're complaining about. Uh, you did. So, all right. Uh, well, if that's if nobody's got anything to add, I'll just. Once again, don't give out almond joys for Halloween. Nobody likes them. Uh, what's your favorite candy? Go, let's go around uh, like round robin around here. Shane, what's your favorite candy? M and M's, Marvel, Sour Patch Kids. It's a Reese cup, but if you, I go chocolate and then non chocolate. I feel like it's the argument. Okay. So Sour Patch Kids would be my non chocolate. <clears throat> chocolate would be Reese's. Yeah. Uh, for me, I gotta go. Starting to suck now. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter Graham bar is really good. It is, a it, solid, it is away. a solid candy. Yeah. And, and spreads, non lingers. non chocolate. I think I'm going nerds though. You are one. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a big nerd. Are you guy. all right? I guess we got to get you guys out of here before this. I'm like fine. It just it's spread. And like Bob said, it doesn't go away. It like it's not, not like. Does not go. That's like the that, that one hot sauce we did for the hot wings episode. The more you tried to get rid of it, just the worse the it got. It's just like herpes. Yeah. yeah. The worse it gets. All right, guys, remember to rate, like, and subscribe on all social media platforms, and please leave us a review. It does help. Uh, in some way, it, it really helps. We need, we need your help. Remember that J.K. Rowling stole this movie to make Harry Potter, um, and <laughs> this needs Harry Halloween Town deserves the love that Harry Potter gets. All right, everybody, have a happy Halloween.